Got a balanced attack. We've seen Artem Tepikalyan. We call him AT. He's had a nice little tournament here. Marcus Barham, really the X Factor. Look for him, number four on this MIAC squad. to be a big part for the Big West. We just saw him, Gabe Vincent. That dude can super score the basketball. Been a phenomenal tournament for both these teams thus far. And then Barham answers right back. Barham out of Florida and him with a two piece. So 17 seconds in the game, fighting fire with fire. This is how this 3x3 game goes. You cannot blink. No, you can't. And we have seen Gabe Vincent get incredibly hot from distance here. Really a great two-point shooter. Made 243 threes in his college career at Santa Barbara. Both these teams can flat-out score, and they're flat-out fun to watch. And Leland trying to show off the range. He leaves that one a little short. I like Tad. I love him. I like his swag, too. He was playing the first couple days with his gold chain out. <laughs> Put it away for national Ooh, television. Yeah. Man, that dude can score. And he's also the player of the year in the MEAC this season. Yeah, Tab uh, out of Bethune Cookman, one of the most prolific scorers and shooters in, in the MEAC this season. Averaged 19 points in the regular season. Three time. Victor Joseph out of Cal Poly will have it at the top of the key. He's come on, man. He, he is really a established himself Ooh. as an elite finisher around the rim. We've seen him. A little jelly there. Really jelly rolling up there. Oh. But you can't what? fall asleep. Oh, no. Look, bar. Right, it's right back at you. Hey. That's, that's a great foul right there by Brandon Tad. We were talking about the jelly. Let's take a look. Victor Joseph blows by AT. And then this is where he really excels. He gets there uh, with a beautiful little English yeah. on that basketball. So good at finishing around the rim. Victor Joseph, the emergence of him. When he came on, that's when you knew the Big West. They could make a deep run, and they were really for real. Man, dude, so fast. We've got to slow-mo his replay. He should have shot that. 5-2 game. Miak in front. It's going to be a tough matchup here for Artem Tevakalian. He, he really is going to have to guard and lock in on the smaller, quicker Victor Joseph. Yeah, Joseph just licking his chops anytime he gets the rock, and he sees AT guarding him. So he's probably going to continue to try to put, to put pressure on him. Joseph, uh, the senior, earned all Big West Conference honorable mention, praise. Another look at the, the bracket. Big Ten already waiting. They'll be playing for 50 Thou Wow here in San Antonio. Uh, they just need somebody to dance with. Big West or Miak. We're about to find out in the next eight and a half minutes or maybe less. Again, Great rebound by Gabe Vincent. Follow your shot. It's a smart play there by a smart score. Tab forces one up there. Bad possession, 12-second shot clock, got to make a decision quick. Tab, oh, he got dropped off like the first day of school. We're not going to be up on yeah. him. He's going to make you pay. He's got five early. Yeah, Vince has got a wetter, man. He, he, his J is just ridiculous out here. He's been so good in this tournament. Nice Ooh. little step back there. Keeps Brandon Tab off balance. Think about Vince, is he can, he can really get to the rim. He can also light it up from downtown. Very dynamic scoring guard from Santa Barbara. Yeah, Barham. Trying to create some space. Williams, as they uh, weren't able to get the shot up in time. Think about this. You mess around with that basketball, you're really putting your team at a disadvantage. It's going to be one pass, one action, and to the rim. Oh, Leland King almost put one down and settled for the layup. Some good D there, too. Big West coming off that 21-11 uh, win over the Ivy League in the quarterfinals. Nice up fake. They shot 73%. In the course. No, they were on fire. And, and it was a balanced effort. All four guys really contributing, and getting buckets on the Ivy And Tab forces one up, was hoping to draw the foul. They're going to need him to, to, to regain his composure offensively here and get some solid possessions. Only two and a half minutes into this game, a lot of basketball to play. 7 5 game. Big West in front, Joseph. He can do that whenever he wants. He, he can really get to the rim and blows by a pretty good defender in Brandon Tab. Got to respect the way to shoot the ball, but then, hey, he blows by and as good as anybody in this tournament at finishing around the basket. He is TMZ quick. Joseph at the strike. Average 5-0 run. Excuse me, sorry for interrupting. 5-0 no, okay. run for the Big West. They can make it a 6-0 run. With the made free throw. And it's 9-5, four-point game. And Marcus couldn't finish it at the rim. Good, good pass to the corner there. And the two-piece no-biscuit makes it 11-5.
Victor Jones has got off to a slow start in pool play, but man, he has really come on and not shying away from that national spotlight here playing on ESPN2. Leland King, oh, he lost it. dream shake. I'm telling you, he couldn't finish it off, though. I think these are the two probably top hair dudes out there right now. <laughs> By far. I'm just jealous. I can't grow mine out like that anymore. Six-point lead for the Big West. Looking for more. Empty on that possession. I mean, I just got to get something going to the rim. They, they just, to me, are settling too much for contested jump shots. And Desmond Williams, it's one and done on that glass. King can't connect, but here's Joseph. You think he's going to go to the cup? He should go to the cup. We're going to see. Step back. Ooh, just barely misses that. And the Miak uh, needs, needs some offense here. Kind of been what the Miak has been about in this tournament, though. We've seen them have huge comebacks in pool play and, and also in tournament play. They, they found themselves down seven in a pool play game. And, yeah, against the Sun Belt. Back in it. Yeah, and against the Sun Belt, they climbed back in. But uh, the stakes are a little bit different here. Yes, they are. Victor Joseph doing his thing from the corner, posing for the camera, letting that thing fly. He's been so good in this tournament. They cheese as he splashes that one. It's been all Big West so far. Again, with the Big Ten awaiting in the final with $50,000 on the line. Hey, uh, we encourage you guys to uh, get involved as well. Make sure uh, you're tweeting us. Get involved in the show. Use that hashtag 3x3u. And uh, who knows? We might pop up your tweet during the show. Maybe. Oh, Joseph. Oh, he, he got the move. He got the moves like Jagger. They cannot stay in front of this. It doesn't matter who's so guarding. Shifty. And you look at the crossover dribble, the spin move. Really just a tough move. And so good. And keeping that basketball away from the defender when you're undersized. So important. Great body a control. monster tournament. Yeah. Right now that Big West defense just clamping and down on the Miak. And he's automatic from the free throw strike, 88% from the Miak. free throw mark. Miak started three for three, and since then they are 0 of 9. Well, let's see if Barham can uh, get it going. He was a contributor early on. He needs to wake up quickly, but Joseph trying to put them to bed. I don't know how you guard him right now. <laughs> if he's going to make threes like that, it's going to be a long day for the – the Big West, just a, or excuse me, the Miak, just a tough offensive player. Eight point cushion for the Big West. Oh, and Victor. Put in the bed. Tab can just, he can taste the leather. It's a 10 point game, and it's getting circus ugly now. Whether it's Victor Joseph from downtown or Gabe Vincent, both these guys getting it done for the Big West Conference, playing with so much confidence. It's a 13 1 run. They are running away. Finally, man, A.T. finally breaks that run. Yeah, you think that the Miak will, will try to get him some more open looks. I mean, he is a he is an unconscious shooter. There you go. Bang, he's, bang, he, bang. He goes back to back. He has not really been a factor in this game. Vincent, no. King tried to get the follow. Couldn't get it to go. But it was knocked out of bounds off of the Miak. Here we go. See, all he needs is, a, is a, an is. ounce of daylight. It is just an ounce, like you said. He's had a nice tournament. Just has not been a factor in this semifinal game today. King going to work. Able to draw the foul. Again, he's going to shoot one. He knew to this 3x3 game. Anything inside the arc is one. Anything outside the arc is two. And just, just not a whole lot for him. No, he, he, he's given up some serious size and weight when Leland King drives the basketball. I have to remember, though, the, the Miak has been here before. They have really come back from deficit. With the way the game is played in three-on-three, three, things can turn in a hurry. Couple misses, couple main, main shots, and all of a sudden, look out. Williams to drive in the two-handed yammy. But uh, still a lot of work to be done here. We've seen Desmond Williams with some nice flushes throughout this weekend right there. As good an athlete as any that we've seen here in San Antonio. Yeah, he averaged 18 points per game his senior season. So he can get buckets, no doubt. But Big West closing in. Again, the first team to 21 uh, moves on. Big West now in the bonus. I have to think they will take advantage as a great driving team. Put your head down, go to the rim, make the ref call something. King against AT. 
Turns over that left shoulder, just walked him down that there. Big boy basketball right there, Leland King. And hey, there, there's AT. I mean, he's found his groove from, from distance, but maybe a little too late. Leland King using that size and that physicality. AT has no answer for this. Nice little head fake, just the basketball. It's a great post move. Just love the fact that he takes his time. It is not in a hurry. Take your time, get something good, get to that right hand. It's good basketball right there. Yeah, great patience. Not so great at the uh, at the strike, the first attempt at least. He's going to get two here. I think the Miak's got to get our guy AT, Artem Tevakalian, going here. He, he just, until the last minute 18 was a non-factor, but he's got six points in that stretch. They're kind of going away from him. Quick six. But gonna, there's, two the <laughs> <laughs> there's two the hard way. Okay. There's two the hard way, and lo and behold, here come the Miak within four, pinning the, pinning the free throw. Could be five. See if Williams can, uh, can get it to go down here. That's just the man capitalizing on two big miss free throws. Desmond Williams getting his game on. Take a look, though. Victor Joseph, one of those plays off the free throw line that we've talked about. What a blow oh. by Brandon Tab. Tab swipes it away like a tender profile. Starts some offense for his oh. team, and, and AT nearly got the got the layup. I got a, I got a few smiles on the tender profile. One. That was pretty good. <laughs> What a block by Brandon Tab. <laughs> Going upstairs. <laughs> Catching that basketball oh, at its highest point. Great timing. And just like that, the Mihak, they've been a team of runs and comebacks. Got to find Victor Joseph, though, off the free throw. Good job, good defense. AT makes it a one possession game. Look out. Oh, and now. Man, the roof would have came off this place if, if Barham had made that shot. Joseph with a good look. He misses it. So Vincent's going to clear, guarded by A.T. Step back. He air mails it. Tab, no choice but to foul. But uh, we, we got ourselves a game, ladies and gentlemen. All weekend, the MIAC has never given up. Leland King, we've seen him go to the line just one of three on the day. We've seen him miss some big ones. Can he redeem himself or... Will the struggles continue? Yeah, if you're just joining us, shame on you. Been a lot of fun here at our first ever Dos Equis 3x3 U National Championships. Uh, these are 10-minute sprints. First to 21 wins it. $100,000. And then a foul. Wow. Put crowd on knee, but we'll be handing out a $50,000 briefcase to the winner. And $100,000 total over three days here in San Antonio. Winner of this uh, final semifinal will go to the final to meet up with the Big Ten. Who's it going to be? The big man underneath, King, smashing like two potatoes as the Big West leads at 19-16. Such a turn of events right there. The MIAC, Brandon Tab has a chance to tie the game. And that's what can happen in this game. Missed shot, it can happen quick. Oh, A.T. Got to get a stop now if you are the MIAC. It is game point. They want to guard the two-point arc because that could end it all here with the Big Ten waiting. Tab drops it off, and A.T. got a look. Heads up defensive play there by Barham. You see missed shot. can happen really quick. Two-man game. Leland King with the nice seal, seal on Brandon Tab. Utilizing the big man there, the big fellow averaged a double-double for the season in the Big West Conference. And Vincent is right by Tad for the lay-in. Game point for the Big West. They get into here. They said clear it out. Oh, now yeah. you're going to put him at the line. Yeah. AT knew it. This could, uh, so this could end it. Vincent just plants. Takes off, gets to the rack. I have to think the Miak's thought process there was not going to let him shoot the two. If he wants to drive it, we'll live with that. And Murray, yep. he'll, he'll live with that. Late. He'll live with that. His money.